really found anything. Yombi's actually going to go pushing left completely blind, but he still manages an opener here. Enzo will give the advantage over to Liquid and has some support still aggressively. Looking pretty good for them at this stage, but there's the Xiao Show. Always in the late round, this man comes alive. Yeah, and he popped off in their last series as well, although there were many players that didn't. Navi, two versus two, damage sustained, though artist down to 21 HP, and Xiao on 86. The utility from Liquid earlier, Managed to give them a, an upper hand, but now it's all about the gunfights. In fact, the paranoia might help as it pushes them back, and Mystic claiming the final kill. Cage's pop paranoia that Mystic had kept for a little bit later now finds its value with Angel going down to utility. But there it is, another tag coming through, this time to the legs. Makes it easier to finish them off. And with two players on 10 HP, this is a very winnable round for Nats. Sneaking around the back of the site, still denying the plant, but eventually they found a safe spot alongside that molly. Three players to drop. Low HP now on all of them. Artist down to 67. And even though it's just a Spectre for Nats, it could work out the Nano from afar. He knows it's there. He knows he has to destroy it. Instead, he's looking for the kill. I, it, it's a little greedy, but I like it. I have to try to thin out their numbers here and now. You assume there's something else coming. And Artist has some utility. And follow up on the trap. It's starting to look like damage might be the name of the game again. Defusing this will be tough and impossible indeed with that pop flap. Here's important. And already we're going to see them challenging for early control. Zipan's won that fight though. Oh, and another as well with the jump up. They didn't expect so many players to be here, and Yuppie is firing on all cylinders. Only Nats again, but this time the clutch much more winnable. Actually, more HP in play for his opponents than before, but less guns to fire back with. That said, the gun is in the hands of Sagetsu, and he still has a Nano to work with, an Alarm Bot to cover some of the approach. And, of course, a movable door behind him that gives him a little bit of security. It's a tough clutch for Nats, but he got here early enough to see that there was no cross back to middle. So he's focused in on the right place. The gap a little bit with Old Angel just looking for a fight, and well, he found one. Yeah, the IGL of Team Liquid dropping to find that opening kill, that shock dart. Ooh, unintendedly well. Landed. Oh no. Oh, there's two players to and an aftershock stuck in that corner. I think Enzo just about 5 HP. He's able to escape, but he doesn't. It's such a classic through the smoke. It was a rolling thunder utilized by Liquid, but somehow out of that, Na'Vi have come out on top. There's a big investment. A little bit of information with where Yumpy is. Do they check the back of the tree? Yes, they do. Mystic fires off just in time to give them a warning shot. And Zipan lands that bullet nicely. Nats on an off angle, and now the only hope for the squad. Good kill. Sections it into a one versus one on both angles. But Sagetsu isn't planting. Swings out to support his teammate. Player, if they tried to hunt it down, they'd be in a lot of trouble. But the Rolling Thunder could help them out. Three players caught in that, and Sagetsu swinging around the back. Mystic was the only one untouched by the ultimate. And now in a prime position as he trades out. Four versus four. Ults used by Navi for a little bit of space, and the trades are good. Do they expect the second player? Yes. Well, whether they do or not, Xiao's hitting the shot and putting the 3v2 in effect. Orbital strike for post plant means the clock is even further against I you. And they've realized that there's no way back in. Anybody, they're, they're getting down to the 30 second mark. A Angel's managed to find Yumpy, left. but he's got a player behind him. They still don't have the spike. They, this is the bigger issue. Now they're finally going to start pushing in, but they're walking into every single member of this liquid squad. This, this round is just mental. And, well, Mystic's just farming. I, I, I don't know what has happened here for Na'Vi. It looks like an absolute mess of a round. Um, um, oh, I don't know how Sagetsu is even alive at this stage. <laughs> I mean, he's done a decent amount of damage, at least. There was potential. But ultimately, yeah, I, I feel like this round, they, they tried to divide and conquer a little bit to create a blind spot. It's the right play, as we can see. Smoke down. On the way through, the cam's going to be up top, but it won't be used because Nats has got his weapon in hand. He's surrounded. Wingman on the site going for the plant and being allowed. Nats wants to be the... Behind enemy lines, an element of surprise is they don't expect him to be here. Kiko picking them up and thinning the herd leaves Sagetsu alone. And he's going to have to attempt to deny this defuse, but in fact, the players come pushing. Spam has gone through, but still no kills. Navi have an orbital strike to work with if they decide to put that through, but they might not have time. Here it comes, pushing players out into the open, but the kills aren't following. In fact, Nats picks up three. Far. Four kills on the board, there's five. It's a headshot on the zip band. He means business on this solo site hold. But he has a bit of support. Yumpy with a door open. 
now has a chance to pounce. Enzo's on the rotate as well. Left. It's an Odin. Not great for spamming that smoke because they will fire right Ooh. back at you. And the wall bangs come in on the other side. But even still, Kiko's able to find more value. A third kill with the showstopper. And Sagetsu's walkout is weighted with open arms by Mystic. Fires all around. Navi have two on each angle. But Enzo's picked up a double. Nats follows up by dropping Zipan and opens the path into A. A clean plant to be found. And two players alive for Navi. Sagetsu and Xiao have to recover this with enemies everywhere. Even a flank coming in from Nats late. Yeah, this timing from Nats. Oh, they're keeping Sagetsu looking, still. Looking like a prime Nats moment. Oh, the turn oh, no. almost there. It got a little bit dicey. But Nats left all on to Xiao. He doesn't have much to play with. And he will go down to it. Good though, repositioning. The door's been opened and players making their way through. Navi set their eyes on the site with Zipan already dropping. Yumpy, Enzo falling too, and now they're surrounded. These players have everything. The only angle they really can play from on Team Liquid is that connector. Standing. And when that's falling, it's Kiko's classic that's pulled out thanks to him having a judge in the back pocket. And I don't think Navi have a, any means to deny this. It's all about the retake, and it done well to find one, but immediately the response is there. Showstopper in the hands of Kiko, fires it off. He might have done damage with Thardis on 37 HP, but it hasn't dropped him. He's still alive. That gun is still there, and it can do so much, even on the low HP. It distracts for Angel to at least trade it out. Keep the numbers in their favor, but it's all about Yumpy. These players towards main just need to delay and allow Yumpy to come all the way around behind. Enzo ringing out with the Odin. Draws the ride, but a whiff from Yumpy gives the round to Navi. And well. They'll probably very quickly realize that actually it's the opposite. He's tagged a couple of players. The thing is, it's a great opener, but will they realize that there's still more players here? Zipan around the edge. A rotation in as well from Artis. Needs to hit the shot, and he does. That spike. And actually, Zipan's spike caught another. The spike left out in the open, and they may not even realize that now Zipan's within the site and Xiao as well, and they're caught on that flank. 15 seconds, too. There's no time. Oh, no! Yumpy had to slip through that door. I'm not even sure if he would have made it. This door very much closing in Liquid's face of the round. 1v3, 1v2, but four seconds to find the last. It's not going to happen. Navi have pushed up to eight. A two-round gap being there. Unpredictable. Mystics Hello, all the way in their spawn, but they're aware. They're looking for him. They're trying to find him, and they have. They've spotted him. Now the real trouble begins. He'll be flanked in from any direction. Time to push forward, and he does so successfully. A quick and clean kill with Artis moving behind on the B site, but spotted after the spam. He'll be smoked out, and the information revealing both of these players' positions. Mystic's in there with a shorty. It's it's an ambitious play, I'll say that. Eventually, he's going to put the smoke just back down back. just so he, no. can, uh, he can stick in it. He just goes, you know what? I'll put yeah, another smoke no. down, and I'll see if you're going to risk it. From the last one, we saw that four stack again, oh. but they managed to There's catch one. Nats, oh, unfortunately, he's not going to get anything more. Oh. The trade oh. back from Enzo is good, and it comes down to the one Side versus one. Down. A blitz see. of frags from both Xiao oh. and Enzo. The spike has been retrieved. It's a guessing game. If he plants, For Sugetsu, he has... he's waiting, but he's missed the timing just about. That plant will get the ult online, but there's one on the other side as well. It'll definitely make things a little bit more awkward on either side. And the timing could be everything. Both players now walking, but a pickup of pace for either will either guarantee the plant or potentially guarantee the kill. Sugetsu. I mean, his timing is perfect. He heard the steps moments ago. They move towards C. It seems a little more intentional this time, and there's the reaction they were expecting before. Showstopper popped out by Kiko. He's up in the air and firing on the zip, and Angel caught down below him. He was the snake in the grass this time, and he's dropped Enzo. But for what? Four versus two. Lockdown. Still there to work with, but tough to use in this position. And tough to use on A, because Sagetsu's on the other side of the map. Yeah. The thing is, there's players outside C waiting for this fight, waiting for re-aggression, waiting for artists to look for info, and still, Nats, with an op, is sitting outside B. Somehow, Sagetsu was aware of that. He was ready. Yeah, he's managed to make this one slightly less difficult. A moment or two where you'd think he might have been able to find one back. Uh, this stage even just be worth holding yeah. on to the gun. You can see the remaining players on Liquid have all gone in for the post plant, and I think this is where Sugetsu realizes that having that extra gun. Now they come flooding back in, oh! not expecting Sugetsu to already wow. be here. He's buying them time. That's the one major thing. Can he get any kills from it? No. There's still 25 seconds as they're now going to encroach onto Xiao. 
left with very little to play with here. He can't even really risk peeking out. And they're going back, though. They're walking into Saigentu. He's waiting in the corner. He's going to find two again. And there's Ardis. That was the one thing that Liquid couldn't do was walk back towards the B site. However, Yumpy still makes this possible. Rolling Thunder could keep him safe, but he's just going to go for it. Oh, Bear in mind, oh, Chow's just boy. mollied himself. He wanted to clear that corner. He wanted to make sure he wasn't close. And Yumpy's going to close it off of that. The Red Bull clutch to make sure that they get it over the line. The attack side moves its way towards B. The wall gets them across, and the flash gets them out. Easy kill for Nats, and the follow-up is there too. A double to open this up. And Team Liquid have sight control. Nade through is going to take Yumpy. Oh, no, he just about makes enough. it away. And that's again. He switched from the Cypher, but we know that his Viper is one of the best. It's his individual skill that has taken them with the advantage in this round. No way back in looks unlikely, though. Okay, they've got the Seas for the back, but no utility to really clear them. An aftershock would have been nice, but they haven't got it in this round. Well, it seems like they're just going to fall like flies. Instead, they're slowly being pushed back by the utility. The blast packs through from Kiko. He's on sight, but in comes Xiao. Sagetsu with the spray gets the spike on the floor, and they have to go right back up into the fray. Kiko, oh, he had an opportunity, but comes off the rope a little early. Stun misses Nade, not finding it. And Mystic's up top, but look how many players are on the other side. If he swings that, there's a lot of trouble brewing for him. Within that orb won't get him across for free, but he after the first, he can't deal with Sagetsu. Neither can Nats on the rope, and Kiko is left to try to create space and save the weapon. Potentially giving a route to slip through, and well, that's one way to do it. The running spray gets Kiko one, and he's good for two. A site secured, and a lurk on mid. Spotted, but not dealt with. Yeah, Mystic still standing and retreats towards sewers. He doesn't need any help there. As the plan comes in, it's only Xiao, one versus four. Yeah, and then again, this looks like a scenario where holding on to the weapon is going to be more important. There were quite a few moments in that round as well where it looked like Na'Vi had opportunities. Like Mystic TPing away wins the fight. Sugetsu knowing exactly where Kiko is. Kiko still wins the fight. Like They're looking like today Liquid just better in terms of that individual ability. The shakiness that we saw in their game versus Foot seems to have dissipated. And Xiao has got to be careful here. His opponent is waiting. This should be a freebie kill for Mystic. A great reposition. They already might even catch him. No, they're just contacting it. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake. The, they didn't want to commit the dog early, maybe using it later as they get closer to the site and instead forced into this fight. Oh. Judge back up, but not in time. And that is Artis right behind Xiao. He fell at the same time. Another swing. And it looks like Mystic more than ready. The surprise of Nats in middle, catching Navi off guard. And everything's falling apart for the defensive side. Running for the hills now. Zipan seems to be going to A after the reveal, but Liquid... Oh, they are actually, they are actually going A. Are they? They were? Ooh. They are? They're not? Ooh. Oh, They're timing! Oh, oh, it's so happening. unlucky! Sugetsu doesn't realize he's right above him. And now, well, after clearing out Sugetsu, there's absolutely no reason for them to go anywhere near that A site. Again, and it seems like Na'Vi... Okay, uh, that initial fight, a little bit unlucky. Uh, artist being caught by what, what seems to be a player I didn't even see. Yeah. And, well, that neural theft gave everything up. Zipan now just to try and do a little bit of damage, but nothing to be had. Taking that control, timing onto Nats could be everything. Nats hasn't been spotted. Oh. Still sitting behind, and because of that, he's able to instantly turn. Takes two with him. It One just seems like he's remaining. always in the right place. Mystic there as well. Planted. Nothing Na'Vi could do is ever the right play. Just that little crib, just that little corner that wasn't checked. And the perfect timing from Nats again, and the round is already done. Angel waiting on the other side of the map. There's nothing he could do. That He's not had many opportunities, it seems, to have impact in this game. Pops off, but he has been. Oh, that can't happen. Snake bite. Oh, it might save him. It might give him a chance, but Artis is too quick. There's oh. the opening we're looking for for Navi. Yeah, they give killed Nats, although they did. Oh. Artis just continues to push. I guess it was a half clear, maybe, from Zipan. I, they did. They checked, but 
just not thoroughly enough. Now, he does have the spike. If they kill him, this would still be a massive kill. I bet he wish he had that from the shadows now. Spike because now the spike is B. dropped on the other side of the map. It might have still been a bit of a calamity start. But now, you're going to watch the players of Liquid have to run all the way around the map. Angels take the spawn. Does win the duel versus Enzo as well. Had to resist saying that, seeing a Cypher running. <laughs> I've been feeling that this series. This map at least. Oh, I thought Yumpy was dead. He turns on a dime, takes the kill, but Shao, good for one, stand. trains it to the wall. No way. way! That's somehow the Team Liquid take again! Angel, even tucked inside. Now the reveal goes out. Zip Man shows Stopper. Here it is. They're chasing him down, and they get him in time. The shot from Nats, the trade from Mystic as Angel comes through. That smoke goes down right afterwards. The advantage now there, traded out down. into the hands of Team Liquid. Zagetsu will try to recover something, and that could be the spike drop. An opportunity as he even dodges the flash. The element of surprise, perhaps the second flash also dodged. Uh, Yumpy has no reason to suspect that he's here, but his teammates clear it anyways. They come up behind a distraction play once again, and the advantage falls in to Team Liquid's hands. I'm getting sick of saying it now, Tom. Navi. Welcome Always on the back foot. World. And there's a pit as well. Yeah. Oh, that's just we, great. We haven't seen any of the, the craziness, any of the clutches, any of the individual plays that we saw in that game versus Vitality. All of that have come out from Liquid. Desperately fighting to try and get a 9-3. Paranoia still in the hands of Mystic. Playing on that backside, the only player that could in theory be isolated, and they will. But even still, there's utility on that spike to play with. Two players looking to try and wrap back round the back. Finally, somebody gets onto that defusal, but there is just no way he's getting that defuse across the line. Down to this 1v1. Xiao gets the kill. I don't know if he's got time. No, I don't think he has. It's going to go off anyway. This would be their season, but those downs might just be revived. Kiko is going to send Angel packing. Oh, no. Oh, young people waiting, but Zipan. Oh. Finally manages to connect the shot. Mystic under pressure should be going down as well, and they are stuck in a corner. They're looking like they might finally get themselves a second round. This is left all on to Nats, and this time he's caught. This is some sort of bluff, and well, it hasn't worked. Kiko already forcing Sugetsu off. The rest of Na'Vi are going to have to try and build into the B side. The fact is, though, Mitch, I think we might just see Liquid play some sort of retake here. You can already see Enzo off the site. Yeah, there's no need to commit bodies to it. The cross is the most that they'll be looking to compete for. And it's just damage with Enzo backing off afterwards. Always better to play the numbers in a round like this. Uh, planted. No, if you're this guy, I guess just don't. I just swing. Just pop a guy in the head. Clean. Kiko is unbelievable. And, and he started this map out very slow. But he started to wake up. The Rays on the other side, though, doing much the same. Upgrading the pistol, but now being pushed on with the paranoia. Player on the side, oh. not spotting him. Kiko a little slow to the fight. And with Yumpy falling, there's still hope for Navi. Angel and Artis just need to run this clock down, and another kill almost guarantees it. A tough clutch for Mystic. One versus two. He'll start by sticking Don't the spike to half. Okay. But not all the way. Okay. The shot connected by Artis. Funny. Oh, that's a quick play from Zipman. Those blast packs are on point. The point. Oh dear. Driven straight that's into just, the head of Kiko. Like, Shao was just standing on top of the box. No yeah. wonder. Try to step on top. <laughs> no wonder there wasn't something there all the time. Oh, Zipman oh. just. There's been a few moments today where Zipman's just been caught by very, very weird circumstances. Like. No charges. Is he peeking? He's not peeking. Oh, you're in trouble. Yep. You are in a lot of trouble, Yumpy. That's unfortunate. But he was seized in. He didn't really have anywhere to go in either direction. Uh, unfortunately, decides to go swinging into heavy traffic. Sneak up from Sagetsu, who's actually drawing rotations. This is just going to be an, an annoyance. And that's what he was going for last round as well. Navi just hunkering down, waiting for the rotations to pick off another player. And in the end, I think they're just going to hit that B side. Yeah, to be honest, in this circumstance, him going even on a lurk would just be ridiculous you don't want to give any individual fight timing for enzo is going to be everything if angel picks him off here the round is almost certainly done he's been spotted and well there you go you're not going to expect the second player here navi playing things incredibly slow but it is prevailing 
Maybe going to pick up the, the remaining orb as well. And for Mystic, likely just going to try and hold on to the weapon. Ray is awkward, Franzo. And his teammate close was stunned by the rolling thunder. Nats emerging from heaven, caught from every which angle. The nade, it's going to force them back into the spray that's caught Yumpy down to 5 HP. A great start to this round for Navi. And they still have a showstopper if things start to go a little spooky. I also don't think the one on the other side is really in a spot to be committed. Oh, it's actually going to be Zipan. Almost gets both. Okay, he's killed off Yumpy, who was already low. It's not the end of the world, but the Navi just wanting to make sure they confirm this round and for Liquid. Information isn't going to be gone. And in fact, it's going to be Zipan going straight off. He should be caught here and will be. And no immediate trade. In fact, nothing really found. The full Liquid squad have now rotated into position. Navi are going to try and take this to the heavens. They've realized it's heaven, though. That flash didn't see anybody. They have to be going somewhere on the back of that ult. And it's straight up here. Sagetsu, beautiful timing. Still two on the site. They have to clear them out with 10 seconds left. There's barely any time. Mystic using his best Mystic cosplay. They've seen the paranoia at least. Heard it, but they won't catch Mystic. Nats, good from up top, but only for one. And the site now fully seized. Seekers going out, but, well, they won't be there on time to really follow up on. I planted. The defenders are split. Oh, my. The oh! push through from Kiko caught immediately. That was the barrel of the gun. Artists. Gorgeous stuff. And at this point, if you're Enzo and Yumpy, you've got to be calling for a save. It's going to be shot, but I think he's aware that someone could be close. A decent setup here for Liquid. As they hold on the site, but it's nothing for Enzo. They need Mystic again to go big. The Judge up close could actually stop yeah. them in their tracks. They won't expect someone this close. Surely never mind! Angel just snaps onto the head of Kiko! He was waiting the entire round! I can't believe what I'm witnessing! The lead's standing. about to be taken by Na'Vi on their attack side after being 10-2 down! Nine rounds in a row. Now there might not even be a weapon to save for Yumpy. There's no way out. There's no way in either. Everybody waiting for him. The flank underway for those who aren't. And this double swing. Yeah, even though he hits the first headshot, Sagetsu's still standing. Enzo needs that help, and there it is. Beautiful paranoia. One to be found, but nothing else. And Artis doubles up. Navi again able to push back this aggression from Team Liquid. And now the site push has absolutely nothing left. Nats is down, and Kiko Welcome and Yumpy, two versus four, Viper's pit in play, Nade is good, oh. Art is down, that's a that chance, a and a real chance now, finally Liquid could be in with one, but that pit still has to be dealt with, Spike planted. the plant safely in the that corner, the jump standing. out from Xiao, good for one, and Yumpy's attempt to trade, he's too late, too far back at this stage, has a flash to work with, suspects both players to be left, at least one, they move back just in time and now sitting all oh, with a shorty in hand. Yumpy's in so much trouble as he makes his way in. He's being watched and deleted. Cancelled in the end, but perhaps or tempted to cause the power of oil yet again. 12 seconds, the rolling thunder goes in. Enzo caught by the smoke. Left. Might give him a safe spot to play from. Doesn't even go for the spam initially. Now, though, he's able to capitalize oh. on more than one. No, oh, 20 seconds, they cannot get it. It's done. 12 11. We keep on going despite the kills. Oh, one kill away from Viper's Pit for Nats as well. If he can just find that one, this flips a favor in there. Oh, never mind. He's dropped, traded immediately. And the fight comes down to just Kiko. No nade, and he's only spotted one player, but he'll go for the defuse. Tapping it now, breaking the utility that comes after him. And again, baiting them into the open. One away. Nade, four bullets, but he can't land them. Angel, the man to close the map for Navi and bring us all the way to Ascent. We've seen this, we've said it. Both teams good at the attack. An instant push through. Zipan already finding that first. The one place we've seen most rounds go is those pistols. Kiko desperately trying and eventually will take out Artis. And actually, Sugetsu, this is this is bold. This is risky. He's low on HP because of that. He's gonna be stuck out on his own, and they're gonna be able to even things up. HP disadvantage for Navi, but they're using their guns to their advantage. Three players tucked up close, flash is good, but actually the paranoia back in return has left Team Liquid without a leg to stand on. Shadows Smoke down, but the players are already ahead of it. Unfortunately, blooming in Kiko's face makes it tough to take any fight. Angel taking the space, but a little cubby left. Paranoia through, no chance. Kiko wins that fight as well. Sipan is there to find a trade, but still that advantage sticks with Liquid. It's only the first player they've dropped. 
not going to get the information of two players on the side, but I think they've garnered that now. Already dropping left. Kiko, looking for Mystic. He's tucked behind the boxes, waiting for support. And I know he's not swinging out ahead of them. And they go one by one, every fight. One on the other side for Navi. The Odin spray, it's not great. It finds one, but he's revealed. He can be spammed right back at 23 HP. An easy kill for anyone that finds him in open combat. Sagetsu's in the same boat, though, retreating. Navi 4-0. The fifth round sees Artic dropping like off rip. The reposition from Kiko immediate. And this is the value he can bring with the operator. Mystic may be sticking around a little too long, but he will escape. That is a lamp. And now they have to be wary. Kiko can not only reposition, but he also has the alt dimensional drift available for a retake if it gets there. But that's absurd. Xiao just so quick with it. Doesn't even allow him to escape. That's been the thing. Kiko's been good for the opener, but the follow-up has always been a response from Na'Vi. I know exactly. Yeah, very clean. He just happened to pick the one of the two angles that he wasn't set up for and the flick doesn't land. Smokes down, information to play with, and the flank underway. Look at the position of Sagetsu, it's nasty. He could get so much value already dropping Enzo, but the sight hold Spike is still on. A. Yumpy, standing strong for now, forced back by the flash, still to take a lick of damage though. Those bullets whizzing past and player in heaven. And it's, oh, the cam goes up to distract, but it doesn't work. The adjustment is near perfect. Look at the spike In the end, he falls, 12 seconds left, and the rotate around to get the spike. They'll make it back just in time. Nats has to try to deny them. Well, doesn't have to, but he probably should. He's seen both, the swing out, and he's getting closer, trying to isolate the fight while the plant was coming through. There's now two players there and one holding the cross. Okay, Liquid seem to have the time on their side, that's for sure. Hunter's Fury slowing them down further. They're focused on that Hunter's Fury, not seeing Mystic up close, but he's dropped. And Enzo goes down, now the site is under serious threat with the plant already through. Kiko can't deny it, and where can he even go? There's no gate crash. he's gonna commit to this, and he's caught by Angel, turning from the flash. Yumpy, one away from Viper's Pit, even still. And a chance for him to at least farm that online, but I don't think this round is gonna flip into his favor unless Na'Vi are feeling like throwing. This is very much cemented in a 4v1. There's the Viper's Pit online. He's on his way towards the site. This could get a little bit spooky and scary. The time is very Ooh. limited. And Angel puts an end to any hope for Team Liquid in this round. It's a nasty angle he's got there. Spotting the first and taking him down. Recon up top. It'll catch him on the way through if they're not careful. And well, by the looks of it, they weren't 56 HP left on Zippan. But they sprayed back following the tracers. Another kill for Zippan. And Xiao left alone. He's found another. And we're now to a 1v2, but 7 HP. And time is of the essence. He has to plant here and now, dodging the spams. It looks like he might even get it down, but then the shorty comes out. And at long last. Reveal is decent, and they're focused on the clones, so actually it's an easy kill. Enzo able to just spray it down and take one, take two. In fact, the Xiao falls. And sure, the trade is there eventually. We're down to a 3v3, but Kiko... Oh, he hasn't actually got a gate crash to get out of there, but he's able to just walk away. Again, they've managed to keep this man advantage. Spike left back, Sagetsu trying to find some sort of response. Now, he does have Neural Theft, an opportunity to get the information of where these players are, are stacking up. I have retrieved the spike. But he will need a corpse to do it. And it doesn't look like Liquid are just going to sit back. They're actually re-aggressing into mid. Now, this could win them the round, or it could give a way back in. So get to timing is going to be absolutely everything, but the shot's a whiff. Finally, they're given a lifeline. Yumpy connects the shot. Still two players at the back of this side, one of them with that Odin in hand. Luckily on a safe spot, that Odin can't get him through two walls. But as they push up closer, it could be a real problem. 30 Kiko, 30 left. HP, still with a decoy. It's going to be used to try and draw their eye. The player's at the switch. Very wall bangable position. But they don't really have the comfort level to, to fire on it for now. Double stack up and spawn as well. Cage is up, they're fighting spawn. They're going right into Yumpy. And a quick double Spike secures down. the round. No way for Angel. No, surely. He's Ten only got two left. more players, so he could try to force these fights. Eight seconds. No. Waiting for the overpeak, waiting for the mistake. Oh. And it doesn't oh. seem to be coming anytime soon. He has to TP the fragment, not quite. Very, very lucky to escape that one. And now Enzo left alone. He's going to be traded out this time. He's still done an unbelievable amount of damage, but it keeps things fairly even. Hey, you have tags from that Hunter's Fury, shock darts, and of course, almost most importantly, that last spray. 
It's made it Standing ahead. doable, workable. But remember, Mystic was tagged down to two. He's not going to be the most useful on the way back through. Even the smoke likely to land on main. Doesn't section them off. As these players are very much focused on the site itself. And Nats has just gone crazy. Diving remains. down with a shorty in hand. But now he's the last man standing. 30 health, one bullet to drop. The two players to do it. <laughs> and it's Angel on a quick shot through the wall. Boys one player falls back. Minutes. That's Ardis. The numbers on site. It's definitely favoring Team Liquid, and they're just flooding it. Zipan on the back, right clicked, and then taken down from the other angle. Another distraction play. Artis comes in and comes out just as quickly. Quick shot from Kiko. And Angel and Sagatsu, they've got it all to do. Nats is very aggressive. Nats is extremely oh aggressive. I thought that was a nasty spot to sit in, but he goes running around the corner. He's going to get shot in the back. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Toxin screen down. This is a round that I didn't expect to see an Odin out of Team Liquid. Simpad, oh no! Diving in for so much value. An artist, quiet as he may have been, he's answered the call here. The toxins taking away. Spray is good for Angel. And his oh, code pilot here is Sagetsu. They're doing a lot of damage. And now as they walk through, this could be easy pickings for the Odin. Angel rattling them off. And three kills later. That flash not even intended to be followed up on the paranoia as well. Just slowing them down. Putting the pressure on. Xiao dodges a paranoia back in the other direction. Yumpy not able to find anything. The read from Navi's book. Let's see if they face off against the scissors to their paper. So far, Navi have not been able to be touched caught on this left. map and even as Artis falls it seems the round is slotting in their favor 13 to 5 Navi come out on top the brothers might have been hard to separate earlier on